All right, here we are back at the bench. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this one because I just did a build. But this is another one I felt like building. This was in my stash that I had uh, purchased from a gentleman out in Ohio whose brother, unfortunately, had passed away. But he had really good prices, and I got way too, too much stuff. I got more crap. I think like most model railroaders, we have more stuff laying around on workbenches than we'll ever get to in our lifetimes. But I wanted to build this because this may be able to go over in Eugene Yard. He had this kit. Now, I also bought, also by uh, Laser Kit or American Model Builders, their yard, the small yard office. So either one would be cool, but they're both kind of fun to build. All right, so this is what you're going to see now. That's me building this little puppy. Well, you're going to kind of see little bits and pieces of it. Um, that's the uh, that's the tower right there. It gets nice instructions. And they, oh, and they come with it. This opens up and it tells you how to build. Pretty simple to build. It doesn't look really all that challenging or difficult. Pretty simple. Now, the one difference with this kit that I noticed. <laughs> okay, these are all the parts that you're supposed to have with it. Well... I have everything on the top. I have this one board right here, which is this board here. That's that. I did not have this entire board, which has got um, some trim. It's got some doors. It's got some, um, I think there's one window. It's got steps. It's got, you know, it's the stringers for the step. I mean, the stringers for the steps are up here, but this has the actual steps, the platform, and whatnot. So I needed this. So what I did was I got a hold of American Model Builders, and I asked them, you know, hey, could I buy this? I mean, I don't know why it's not in the kit. The kit looked complete. But then again, the kit was older, so who, who the heck knows? But they got back to me and said, yeah, tell you what, we'll send it to you. So I'm waiting right now for this to show up, which should come in the next, hopefully in the next week or so, and then I'll get back to building the kit. What I have done so far, as you can see, I did, I painted the door. I may go ahead and paint the rest of this stuff. I'm not sure what color, maybe the light color. I'm using the, um, <laughs> what I have as the New York Central colors. This is the, oops. That's the New York Central, kind of the, they call it pastel green, but they're lighter green. And then this is the New York Central, that's what I call it, darker gray. It's the dark gray color that the Central tend to use. So I have that. And then over here, I have setting up. I added a piece of, make this a little brighter if I can, a piece of, um, what would you call it? <laughs> support to the inside actually these are probably done because these walls were a little bit floppy a little bit and eh, it still is a little bit up top but i can't go above the floor level if i could go on the sides but i think once everything gets glued all together that'll be see how that see how thin that is Woo! yeah that moves so hopefully that'll all go together that so those weights can probably come off this is the floor that goes in here, you know, like that. I may or may not detail the interior, put put lights. I, I don't know. It probably needs a light out here, you know, over the over the stairs, and then lights in the front. And I, I don't know. We shall see. I could, of course, if I really wanted to, build the roof. That's just a gluing all these things onto this and, and I could even do that and I could even put the why is that so freaking dark oh, okay and I could even put the, the stuff on it Oop, where's the, all right, let me put this down this is the why, why is it doing that I do apologize for that do, 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 do. okay so I could put this stuff on the roof uh, I think can I put the trim on the roof I'm not sure if the trim is there or not, but, uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's right there. It's on, it's on, I have that sheet, so I can do that. So I can do everything I need to, to the roof is 
right here and up there. Uh, the windows are painted. They're up here. These are painted in the New York Central gray color. What? I'm sorry, this phone keeps freaking out on me. Okay, so there they are painted in the dark gray color uh, to go on the building. And we'll see how that looks. So I got those done. And the doors, and like I said, I got to paint these. I could build that. Uh, I can assemble the whole building and put the top floor in. Then I got to stop. Uh, I might, as opposed to using two pieces for the sides, I might use this angle piece for the trim on the two sides of the building. I don't know yet. This is a little bit too big, but I don't feel like buying any more. Especially, you know, one piece. So we'll see how that looks. So that's what's coming up. I'm going to be building this. And maybe I'll pop in. One or two more times and just kind of show you how it's going it's a real easy kit to build you just got to follow the directions and do it so it's not nothing you know earth shattering uh, but it's just a looks like a fun little build so all right off we go okay real quick over here in the layout this is where i'm thinking of putting that little tower just as a little more as a yard office type thing where the where the crews can Hop in, take a break, maybe, you know, have a table and chair, sit down a little bit. Now, I may, hmm, there's a lot of room here. I mean, do I want to build a little storage shed out the side of it or something like that, just for added variety? Um, that's where it sits. I could also, I mean, I could put that and the small yard office. How does that grab you all in here? Because there's, there's a fair amount of room if you have a real tiny little building like that. That is an Art Attack. I, I couldn't help myself. It's uh, it's got sand in it. I don't know. If I'm, I, I'm not sure I'm going to leave it there, but for now, I said I got to set it somewhere. So there it is. So there is plenty of room for both buildings. I think the other building's about that same size. Or I could always move this one a little bit this way, <laughs> and then put the other small building right here. Uh, get rid of this shed. This shed's just sitting here right now. And that's the original building that I had in over there. So, anyway, so that's about where I want to put it. And now that Bessemer unit's kind of just sitting there waiting. But, you know, the crew could hop off, go inside, relax, maybe grab some chow, et cetera, et cetera. So, I don't know. We'll see. But that's what it looks like right now on the layout. All righty. So, here we are progressing on the lovely yard office or whatever I want to make this thing into. I have all the windows in, glazing, some of the sashes up. You can see there on this side, the doors are all in. Windows are all in, trim's all on it. Uh, all the trim and windows and everything were pre-painted and then weathered up a little bit. Uh, I did hit them with a little bit to make it look like somewhat like it's peeling off wood. I used a little bit of this AK Interactive AK711 chipping color. And I put it on a old piece of cardboard and used a sponge. You can see where it's brown. And I just dipped it in it. Then I dried it off over here. You can see where I dried it off. And just, doo -doo -doo -doo, just tabbed it. Went along the parts and got them mucked up. Just a wee bit. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. If it'll, it'll focus in on it. You can see it on the door there a little bit. Just enough to make it look a little bit dirty. Okay, so then what I did was, of course, I made a mistake. You probably can see, if I can get in there, that one bracket under the top door platform isn't quite the same <laughs> as that one because I lost one of them. <laughs> so I, I took what I had there on the outside as a sample and I cut the inside piece, and then I, I didn't cut the inside out because I figured I'd be breaking it. And that little wood was harder than I thought to cut. But it seems to be ni nice and level. Now, if I think if I repaint it, you know, paint it the same color as the, the rest of the stairs once I get everything done, with the stringers on there and, and the stair steps, I don't think you're going to notice that because that's kind of going to sit, you know, let's say like that on the layout. And you're standing up looking at it. I really don't know that you're going to see that. 
Now, obviously, you see it now. You can tell it's a, not the same kind of piece, but if I paint it up, and maybe if I put black in the center, that is a, a black Sharpie that I did in there right now, but you may not be able to tell that. So we'll see how that looks. I do have the brackets in. Uh, pretty much everything was glued from the inside. That worked. And then I can, that one stringer is in, and I put little tiny drops of glue. Drops of glue. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Where they go into the supports, there's little cutouts for them. I did it, you can see where I kind of sanded it to make them fit because of the paint on them. Again, these are all kind of pre painted. So I came along and I sanded the other set of stringers, the front and the back. It's sanded. So hopefully it'll just lay right in there. Now, one of them, and if I can see it, one of the, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one has the marks on it for the railings. So I want to, oh, I need to go back and sand that. I sanded that, sanded that, sanded that. I missed two. All right, so it's got other marks for the railings that go on it. There's the railing still inside the wrapper. So that's where they all glue. So I got a couple more I got to catch. But that is where all those fit onto that. So that's a little small, tiny piece. Again, another little dot of glue that I'll need just to put out here. And then set that, this railing in. This, oh, I'm sorry. This railing and this railing, which I had to take out, they go up around here. And there's another railing that goes inside here, I believe. For the inside steps just to get up onto the you know by the building i believe so i still have not detailed the interior or put a light in it yet which i probably will do um might as well right have the light come up here have this piece of wall hide it go over me i'll mount it on the ceiling and then when the when the roof sits in the led will come off and i'll feed it down through a hole which will be right there and I'll, do, I'll put something in there. I'm not sure what. Maybe some tables and chairs and a desk or two or something just to make it look like life and a, and a figure or two sitting in there or looking out the window or whatever, whatever, something like that. All right, so that's where we are right now. I just wanted to show that and show the mistakes I made and how we have uh, adapted and overcome. And uh, we're moving ahead. So uh, let's keep working on this bad boy. Alrighty, so here we are. So this is the office, I'll say. It's not really going to be a tower. Uh, All together, I did go ahead and paint and install the railing and the stairs. And I did paint that goofy piece underneath. I can't. I really think you can't tell that. That looks pretty good. It's painted the same color and everything. So surprisingly, the railings went on relatively good. They fit in all the notches. We don't need no stinking notches, but they don't. They did all fit, and I got just a wee little bit of glue, cleaned up what I could. I used a canopy glue on it, and it's fine. I do have a LED lampshade up top here, that's over the. Wait, focus. That's over the, the top platform there, and there it runs inside. You can see I, I, I added a little interior rundown for that. Now, the office inside, I, I don't know what it looks like. I really don't. So I just put in two desks, two dudes, a pot belly stove, and a chair over there in the corner. Here, there's not a lot of room in there. but And again, you just want to kind of look in and, and see something. So you can kind of see those dudes in there. And uh, with the light on inside, it should look pretty good. I do have a light on the bottom of the roof. And then this... Oh, oh, oh. This over here, again, should fit down through that piece of heat shrink tubing that I carefully super glued along the side there to a hole at the bottom. And that comes out. Now, it's really, really close to that one vertical support, but I think it'll clear around that. Yeah, it's going to be close, but, but we should be okay. So this is the side that'll face the tracks. This is a side that'll be toward the aisle that you're going to see more often. 
So really the next thing that to do is to get the roof in. I'm probably just going to glue it in. I mean, you, you don't have to. You can just kind of set it in there. Maybe I will. I don't know. But uh, everything else is pretty much done. Done and uh, glued and dried up and ready to put on the layout. So next time we'll see it, it'll probably be sitting over on the layout. All right, real quick, here it is all together. I did, uh, I guess I'll say I tacked the roof on. I put a little bit of canopy glue in each of the four corners, put that in, and that's the interior light that is now on. So I think that lights it up pretty nice. I did not hook up the light yet out here, but one of the things I forgot, <laughs> that light, since it's one of those up and over type lights, it interfered a wee little bit with the roof. So I had to kind of pull it down, straighten it out. And maybe I got to check it again, but it should be okay. Uh, I did glue in the uh, stack in the back. I put a little tiny bit dab of canopy glue on the inside. And I went around the outside with really, really, really little bit. Now when that dries up, it'll dry clear, but I'll go ahead and paint around that black. So it looks like they tarred around it or whatever. But that is building complete lighted inside at least I, man i hope that led works over the <laughs> i do have a resistor for it so i'm, I'm pretty much good to go I, I would like to wire it all together so again I just bring down one 12 volt wire and ground of course and then through the resistor and then through this already has a, a resistor in it for the interior light there that's why i can go direct to 12 volts so all right enough babbling let's get this over on the layout Alrighty, here is the tower done, ready to go on the layout. Now, what I did, as you can see, I added a downspout there on the left. And then I also added a gutter around the top. That's with uh, 332nd Northeastern Scale Lumber Channel. And I glued it into the side of the, of the uh, side of the roof all around it, all four sides. I think it looks okay. You know, it's not great, but it looks back. It, I mean, it looks okay. I think so. All right. So I did that. And then I also glued on this big industrial downspout with a few dabs of super glue down the side. So I think that looks okay. And then, oh man, I went underneath and had to solder up the porch light the lights in the inside, and I dropped one wire for each. So that was really fun. And I had to add a resistor to this little bugger. So that was a lot of freaking fun. I'm telling you what. it's A, it's hard to see when you paint with one eye. And B, it's harder to solder when you're soldering little tiny wires like that with one eye. Yeah, that was fun. All right, so let's try this. Let's see what happens if I turn on the lights over here. This, this is 12 volts. Sorry for the camera shake. Oh boy. Okay, so everything works. So let's just get a little bit of darkness here so we can see what's going on. Move my phone out of the way and then turn that light down in the back. Turn this light off here in the front. Oh, there we go. Oh, this big light over here. Okay. All right, so there you go. So that's a 1K ohm resistor in series with that light that's on the little pad the little pad there and then whatever i did inside i forget it's kind of a yellowish looking light on the inside so you know what i like it okay and it's going to sit just like this on the layout with the ladder in the back i figured that's the kind of the good side to put on the on the layout that way so let's uh let's get this puppy over on the layout Alrighty, here we are over on the layout. That's where it's going to sit. It's in place. I did drop the wires, but I, I didn't hook them up yet, just in case. Let me move this way a little bit. Just in case I decide to put the other little building right here. Now, these are just kind of loose. These are just kind of sitting there. Again, that's an Artitech sand holder. I don't know why I have a sand holder there. Anyway, I have no idea. But it doesn't look terrible sitting there. And I just put that little shed next to it. Okay. So that's that. 
There's Cletus just coming down the stairs. That's where it's going to sit. I know it's a little dark over here. I probably could add one more light to this sign, but that is it. It clears in the front. I checked that. Like I said, the electric is dropped for it. For And everything works. Uh, the inside light and the little porch light there all work. But I may want to wire that in with another building that may, I'm not sure, it's a tiny little thing, that may sit right here. So I just want to wait a little bit until I do the final wiring on that, and we will see. Now what I did around the base, you can see it's got a little bit of grass and scruffage and whatnot around it. I used, all right, these are all miniature and I'm lazy. 727-34 which were the extra long late fall autumn tufts. The 737-23, which are the two color tufts. They're more greenish, I call them. But, and then the 728-24 stripes of grass. So that's what's around the building. Um, that's what I used. Held it down with a wee little bit of Beacon 3-in-1 glue. This stuff's awesome. And that is it. That's what we did together in place hey here comes some bessemer f units nice you never know what you're going to see on this layout <laughs> they could stop right here and this is like a little holding track you know if you know, engines are waiting to get on coal trains or go across into the uh, the main yard on that side. They can come over here. The crew could hop, clamber off, you know, climb up the little yard office there, get inside. Yeah, again, why that sand is there, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they put sand in the locomotive, but wouldn't it be a sand tower? Anyway, I don't know. I can always remove that. It's, re it's movable, as is everything here, so. Okay. So that is the little yard office in the corner of the layout. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Here comes Steve on the 15M, just called Swanville, right across the bridge. He's uh, out of Buffalo. Today is Sunday, April 9th, at eh, just about 1.30 or so p.m. He had to wait for the 28B. He had to drop an engine off at Wabtec. And here he comes. Now, he knows I'm here. He goes on the way <laughs> over in Buffalo. He went to the Lego store. Here he is. And he bought the Lego Titanic. <laughs> He's been wanting it for years. Apparently, it's pretty damn big. He's got it in the cab of the locomotive with him. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens. He might, might get a wave. I think the engineer is a fairly cool guy. I'm not sure he's, he told if Steve told him that I'm there, but no, here comes the 15M. Let me shut the hell up so you can watch it. Off the county up. Woo, short train today. 